Hey guys, Cody Schwab here, and in this video today, I'm going to show you five ways you can use, you can make acrylic paintings. Um, these are super simple techniques. I'm not going to show you every technique. I'm just going to show you some finished pieces and then explain kind of how I did it. But I'm going to give you five ideas so that if you want to make some acrylic paintings of your own, you can use these to make some art for your house, and um, they're not super complicated to make. So let's head over to the uh, the table. I don't like to split my videos. So the first one is by scraping. So in order, this right here is a scraped piece, all right? So you can see that all of the lines are kind of continuous, and I only used a few colors. Here's actually another piece that I'm working on, but you can kind of see um, all of the, the lines. So the way that you make one of these paintings is very simple. You, you take some acrylic paint and you make the lines of it uh, down the piece and then you literally just take a device, kind of like a window scraper or something like this. This was a few bucks at, I think, Ace Hardware. And then once you have the lines of the paint, you literally just take your scraper and run it down. Now the trick to this is just making sure that there's enough paint on each area so that when you scrape it, um, there's no blank spots, okay? So, uh, but it's super easy to make. This was actually just kind of poured paint that I, I made a design with. But to make the scraped painting, you simply just, like I said, put the paint on there, you know, in little lines, you wanna make it a little thick, and then you take a device like this. You can, you can also use, uh, you can use like a stiff piece of cardboard or um, a bigger window scraper or some kind of uh, plastic scraper. Actually, I have one. Uh, you can see kind of my mess. So this one right here is actually a really wide plastic scraper, I think. I think I got it from Walmart or Home Depot. And that's it, like you literally put it on there and then just scrape the paint down all the way down and that's it so another one is using the tried and true brush um so literally to make this painting i'm not done with it but you can kind of see the background of it if you want to do something more complex you can um, but this was just two colors that i literally just kept dipping the paintbrush i think the size of this was like a three and a three inch yeah this is a three inch uh paintbrush and I had just one in green and one in blue, and I literally just kept going back and forth over it until I had um, some kind of the color mixture that it has. Again, I don't feel like it's done, but if you want to make a simple painting, it's not hard. Like abstract, a lot of, a big part of abstract is just getting the colors. So literally, I just had a paintbrush in one paint and the other one, and I just kept kind of going back and forth with them. Um, and then you could do more than that. Uh, the next one is, dripped or you could even do splatter or flinging really it's just action painting so this one you would just take a really liquid paint um, you could water down acrylics or use high flow acrylics you could use gloss enamel which is what I used here um, and literally you just either pour it from a cup or you dip you know uh, the back of a paintbrush or even a paintbrush itself in there and then just kind of fling it on to the canvas and that is how you would make an action painting kind of like this similar to a Jackson Pollock style. 